Hi guys, I want to talk a little bit about the idea of free culture, um, which brings up copyright and intellectual property. Back in the 20th century, copyright, really only a few people cared about. Um, if you were a record label or a musician, you might care a lot about copyright. If you were the Walt Disney Company and you had a character like Mickey Mouse, you might care a lot. But most of us, copyright was kind of irrelevant. Um, now in the 21st century, uh, because of the technology that we're working with, basically every single person has the ability to violate somebody else's copyright every day, and every one of us is creating copyrighted works every day. So what do we do with all that? Is that good? Is it bad? Is it helping creativity? Is it a problem? Um, a number of years ago, there was a guy named Richard Stallman who worked at the MIT Computer Lab, and he ultimately left the lab and founded something called the free software movement, which was he found that restrictions restricted. So he wanted to open software up. And then a few years after him, a guy named Lawrence Lessig sort of was a focal person in creating the free culture movement, which is not abolishing copyright, but creating things that are more easy to share. So when when you create something, um, you know, a song, a photograph, a film, anything, it's automatically copyright, uh, which could be good if you've put a lot of money and effort into a project, but it also means that it's kind of locked down. Um, if you think about Walt Disney, when he built his career, he used stories from the Brothers Grimm and all these different ideas and pieces of our culture that he was able to take and adapt and build his creativity. So today we have, a, we have a thing called Creative Commons, which is sort of an alternative to copyright. It's a way that people license their work to share. Um, and so when you use a site like Flickr or YouTube or any place that you post content, um, it lets it be, if you choose that sort of license, it lets it be kind of interacting and moving around a little bit more. And so the question is, how do we deal with this? I, you know, you may well have downloaded music in your life at some point that maybe wasn't legal. And, you know, what do you think about that? Do you worry that you're at risk, that, you know, the FBI could come knocking on your door? Do you feel guilty that you're taking something from this musician and not paying them? Or do you feel like, well, it's just a song on the net. I just want to listen to it. So it's a, there's a complex set of issues. In some senses, you know, maybe artists do have rights and we want to respect those. But at the same time, when, when information and ideas can move so freely, it is kind of constricting to say that, that they can't be moved um, or that you're breaking the law or that you owe somebody money. So it's a, it's a messy field that will probably be contested for your whole life. Um, and for myself, I'm really interested in these Creative Commons kinds of spaces where people have said, I'm willing to share under these or those terms um, because, in a sense, um, I feel like if, if, if you never do anything that sort of violates somebody's copyright, then you're legal, but in a sense, you're kind of a slave because you're, um, you're stuck under this sort of corporate copyright space. And on the other hand, if you say, well, I don't care, I'm just going to download music, I'm going to remix, I'm going to make videos, I'm going to do whatever I want, then you have a lot of freedom, but you're kind of a pirate. And so I wonder, you know, in between slave and pirate, is there something in the middle? And I think there is, and I think it's called citizen. And it's a space where we work with, again, these new things like a Creative Commons license that lets you share. So I'll have a couple of videos that you can watch that will give you a little more info. But it's just something to think about is how ideas are owned and manipulated in our culture. If you think about, like, you know, a bottle of water, um, this bottle of water or this piece of land that you know, I'm standing on, uh, physical things tend to be owned. Um, I can drink this or I can give this to you. I can't do both, right? I got one bottle of water and it's either mine or it's yours. It's not both. Um, but ideas are sort of different. Even the term intellectual property, I don't like the term intellectual property because it, it already introduces the idea of property and I'm not sure ideas are property. Unlike the water, which I can either drink or give away, um, when I have an idea, I can share it and I still have it. In fact, if I share it with you by, by discussing it, I probably develop it even further. So ideas grow and become richer and more valuable as we share them. So free culture, sharing culture, a lot to think about, and a lot that will impact your life, both as a creator of things. You know, everybody creates copyrighted works today, and you might want to... Um, take advantage of that. And then also as a consumer, 
you know, how do you negotiate violating other people's copyrights? So um, think about free culture, copyright, how it ought to be, how it is, and how you want to exist in this world these days.